But in Lexington, Kentucky, one reproductive specialist says the time for human cloning has come. Panos Zavos has been working with infertile couples since 1978. We can clone a human embryo as early as tomorrow. But to clone a human embryo for reproductive purposes, that means that you need to take that embryo and make sure that it is absolutely, positively, definitely perfect. There's almost a four percentage uh, incidence of abnormalities when you do it normally under natural conditions in your own bedroom. Therefore, those are imperfections that everybody lives with, and we're prepared to live with our imperfections as well. After the first baby, the, the, the reproductive cloning baby is born, and we dress it either in light blue or uh, hot pink, as my daughter says. They will love it to death, just like everything else. Once we start tweaking genes, it's hard to predict where we'll end up. We can go as far as assisting somebody to have a biological child of their own, but the minute that they begin to change eye color and height and features of that nature and try to create a, a superior child, I think that's dangerous. People want it. Today they're asking for a, a new mode of reproductive um, assistance. And people that don't have any testes, people that don't have any ovaries, they can go to a different level. We are obviously making every preparation to clone embryos for reproductive purposes. We're not going to step on dead bodies or deformed babies to get there. Banning it is just not going to make it go away. It's just like sweeping an elephant under the rug. You can try. It's just not possible. If the U.S. would decide to ban this technology, it would not affect us in any way, shape, and form. We have friendlier countries, friendlier territories, friendlier people to be working with us.